Welcome to this video on trying to find the best way to cool stepper motors. In this video I will put some common cooling setups to the test and also some of my own. A lot of people try to cool stepper motors but they don't think about how they work, so let us take a look at that first. The stator is the part you want to cool because this is the part that generates the heat. Due to the copper losses in the windings and the hysteresis losses in the core. The rotor is the part that rotates. This is put inside the stator. To make sure it doesn't touch the sides of the stator, there is a bottom and a top plate. These hold the bearings of the stator. Together, these parts form the basic principle of a stepper motor. For the tests, I used these weights on a string on this pulley to create a load on the motor. I waited until the temperatures stabilized to measure the performance. Now I will go over the cooling setups I tested and their performance. The first thing I tested was just the stepper motor on its own to get a baseline. As you can see, the core went up to 48 degrees Celsius and the windings up to 51 degrees Celsius. The next thing I tested was to put this small fan just about here to blow some cool air over the stepper motor. As you can see, the results were already much better. The next thing I tested was this passive heatsink. So I just mounted this on the back of the stepper motor using this 3M adhesive for heatsinks. As you can see, the results were not great. To increase the cooling performance, I added the same fan as before to the back. And as you can see, the results were much better but they were actually still worse than just the airflow. This is because the stator generates the heat and the airflow blew over the stator and now it's just cooling from the back, so the heat needs to be transferred to the back first before it gets cold. For the next setup, I used these two smaller heat sinks. I added them to the core on the side. And as you can see, this without fans dropped the temperature by one degree. I added these two small fans to the side of the setup and as you can see the performance was better than the heatsink on the back. For the next setup I drilled holes into the front and back plate so you can actually see through the motor. This is also how I measured the temperature of the windings. I put the thermal probe between the two windings and just like that I can measure the temperature. As you can see, just by drilling these holes, the temperature dropped by 1 degree in the core and in the windings if you compare it to the standard setup of just the stepper motor. For the next setup, I added the same fan as before to the back of the motor, so it blew air through the motor and as you can see, temperatures dropped drastically. To check if the static pressure of the fan was a problem, I also tested this blower fan and as you can see, the temperatures dropped a bit, but this fan is almost double the power of the other one. That was it for this video. I hope I inspired some people to test other cooling methods. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.